Today we're going to talk about ICE licensing and the changes in licensing that have come about as part of the release of ICE 3.1. With ICE 3.0, the ICE licensing model had changed and version 3.1 makes some further changes. This video will detail the licensing changes when upgrading from a 2.x version of ICE to 3.1. This is the current look of the ICE 2.x license model. First, let's get rid of this text. We'll come back to this later. Next, the names of the licenses have changed. Base is now Essentials, Plus is now Advantage, and Apex is now Premier. The name changes make sense and now align with the Cisco DNA Center style of licensing. The other great thing to come from aligning with this type of licensing is the nested DAW model. This means that all the features in Essentials are now included in Advantage. The Premier license includes all the features from both Essentials and Advantage. Let's move this license term information out of the way and resize the feature boxes. Due to some of these changes and alignments, some features have either been renamed or moved. Cisco Trussec had been moved up a tier and changed names. Trussec is now in the Advantage tier and is named Group Based Policy. Adaptive Network Control is now named Rapid Threat Containment and MSC Integration has been given a proper name, Location Visibility and Enforcement, which makes sense since MSC is end of life. New features have been added as well, Endpoint Analytics Visibility and Enforcement and User Defined Network, which is added as the first cloud feature. Now onto the big change that came about with ICE 3.0. The lowest licensing level is no longer a permanent license. ICE Essentials is a subscription-based license now. Once you upgrade to ICE 3.0, your licenses will be converted to the new tiers, and your base licenses, which are now Essentials, will expire on October 31st, 2023. Since all access licenses are now subscription licenses, tax support and software upgrades are included for the length of the subscription, including an Essentials-only deployment. TACX Plus-only deployments would still need to purchase services for this support. Remember that from version 3.0 onward, all ICE licenses will be smart licenses. No traditional licenses will be available in the new licensing scheme. As a house cleaning item, I'll move the AnyConnect information over here. Saving another big item for last, and with the full support of ICE in the cloud, ICE 3.1 introduces the new Virtual Machine Common License, a single VM license for all sizes. It must be noted, though, that any current VMs will need to be upgraded with the zero-cost SKU shown here. The VM Common License is fully backward compatible, and upgrading this license prior to upgrading or installing ICE 3.1 is required as the previous SKUs will be shown as out of compliance. Since the legacy base and plus licenses were included in the DNA Premier licensing for switches and wireless infrastructure, conventional wisdom would suggest that the new Advantage tier would be included moving forward. Here are the resources from which I've built this video, and I'll put the links in the description below. Please comment with any questions or feedback. Thank you!